Hi, welcome to a part for you video tutorials. This video tutorial will be shown to you by Dave. He will take you through a step-by-step -step procedure in repairing this appliance. This is the last of a four-part video on replacing the bearings in a Hotpoint WF000 washing machine. It can also be used with other models in the Hotpoint, Creda, Indesit and Ariston range of washing machines as well. This little bush sits on the rear peg of the motor and must be replaced when refitting. It's far easier to refit the motor while you have the container out like this than it is when it's in the cabinet because it's easier to slot the motor in from the top rather than hold it up from underneath. Once it's in place, refit and tighten both bolts but remember to fit the washers first. All the components shown in this and our other videos are available online at our website apartforyou.co.uk Make sure the plastic bushes that hold the springs are still in the cabinet and container otherwise the springs will just wear them away and make a horrible noise while it does so. Both springs are the same but one fits into the container facing one way and the other faces the opposite direction. This is so that the top hook on either spring faces outward. At this point the container doesn't weigh very much, even with the motor attached. But make sure the springs are upright so the hooks are at the top. This way it will be easy to slot them into their respective recesses. The spring retainers just push in and lock into place. Before refitting the pegs that hold the stabiliser legs in place, check them for wear and if you find anything replace them. The one on the left as you can see is worn and will come out after a short time. Check that the pivot hole in the stabiliser leg is in line with the hole in the container before inserting the peg, otherwise you may damage the peg. Push it in as far as you can by hand and then hit it with the end of a hammer handle or a piece of wood until it's fully in. The legs are not like suspension units, they don't contain springs or hydraulic fluid. As you can see they're just two separate units, one inside the other. Hook the front weight on the location points on the bottom of the container, then fit and tighten the three bolts. If possible, try to locate them in their original threads and don't over tighten them or you could strip the thread. If you use a drill to screw the bolts in like I have, be sure to give them a few final tweaks with a spanner just to make sure they won't drop out. If you remove the metal shims then replace them before you fit the top weight and as with the lower one fit the bolts in their original thread but don't over tighten them. All the parts used in this and other videos are available from our website at apartforyou.co.uk. Just enter your model number in the search bar on the site and you'll get a list of parts for that machine. Fold the dispenser over and attach the drum inlet hose onto the container. Refit the retaining band and tighten it. You can now hook the front panel onto the two nylon latches either side of the cabinet front. Make sure you haven't caught any wires in it before fitting the top screws. Now fit the two lower ones before replacing the kick strip which just pushes on. Reconnect the wiring plug and make sure the lip on the front of the switch is hooked in the hole on the front of the panel before refitting the screws. 
otherwise the switch won't fit properly, the door won't close and the machine won't work. When you're satisfied it's incorrectly, fit the screws. You'll probably have to hold it with one hand to keep it in position. Feed the seal around the front panel so that it's even before you start fitting it, otherwise it will go on wonky. The inner lip on the seal fits into the upturned groove around the door opening, which is held in place by a retaining wire. And if you run a small amount of washing up liquid between your fingers, then slide the retaining wire through it, this will lubricate the wire and allow it to fit easily. Reconnect the module and refit the face panel. If you have a module with a number of connections on, you'd be advised to check with your previously made notes or photo rather than just relying on memory as to where they all fit. And be sure you've not left any off, because some connections have a tendency to fall inside the cabinet and get forgotten. The dispenser sits inside the drawer opening, so line it up properly before fitting the screws or the drawer won't fit all the way in when closed. Fit the drawer and that's the front done. On this model the socket on the motor contains one extra vacant position and it's possible to put the plug in wrongly. So check that the wires on the plug all fit on the terminals in the socket. Now connect the earth wire. The drum insert in the sump fits onto these two lugs in the casing and the filter assembly locates into that. The ball flow in the filter is there to restrict powder from entering the pressure chamber. So make sure the sump hose is on properly before tightening the Jubilee clip. As long as the earth wire to the heater, the green and yellow one, fits on the terminal attached to the bolt, the other two wires with spade terminals on can fit either of the outside terminals on the element. The thermistor plug only fits one way in the housing and this one is held in place by a little spring tab. Don't forget to recite the pressure hose in the two clips on the container or you may get a tapping noise later on as the pipe hits against the cabinet when it spins. The belt on this machine was worn so I'm replacing it. You may wish to replace the belt with the container out. It would be far easier, but I'm fitting it with the drum in place. Although I have fit the container back to front just to show how easy it is to fit a stretchy belt. Loop the belt over the main pulley and put two cable ties around them to hold them together. Unhook one side of the belt from the pulley and wrap the lower section over the motor pulley. Rotate the drum anti-clockwise as you look at it from the front of the machine and the belt will be drawn onto the main pulley. When it gets to the cable ties they'll just break off. All you need to do now is align the belt with the motor pulley. Replace the inspection plate and refit the screws. Replace the top and the machine's ready to be water tested. We hope this video has been of use to you and remember to shop online at apartforyou.co.uk because this is how we're able to finance making these free videos. Thanks for watching.